third and ten. Kafka hit on the throw, gets it to Stewart. Into the open field and tackled at the 29. Long of 49, this is from 46. Kick is on the way and it is good. They'll be in the spread offense throughout the day. Dysert's gonna get hit and set. Third down, Dysert will throw. It is caught, big hit. Combs made the catch, but short of a first down. Dysert's gonna get hit and go down. Brad Phillips with the sack. Again, blitz is coming. Dysert hit on the throw and it's picked off. Nate Williams with the interception. If you're really good at this, you'll have a great running game out of it. Third and eight, blitz is coming. Kafka looking downfield, Markshausen with it. Big play downfield. Third and four. Kafka, Markshausen has the first down out of bounds at the 14. First and goal at the six. Kafka, plenty of time, will scramble. Gets by the defensive end and into the end zone. Touchdown, Wildcat. He's still got it, he wants, he wants to play. Dicer, he's in trouble now, and he'll go down. Another sack for the Wildcats. Dicer, look to scramble, but he will go down. Third and four. Shockley, if they use Dicer and his legs here. He's gonna scramble, and he will go down. Sack number four on the day, and a flag comes in. Second down, eight yards to go. They roll out Dysert, open receiver, and it is picked off Brian Peters for the Wildcats with one hand, and tackled at his own 46. What a play from Brian Peters, a sophomore from Ohio. You might either be my friend or you're not. Dysert. Quentin Davey knocks it out. That ball is loose, recovered by the Wildcats. Brian Peters. And Peters dragged down at the 27. Starting inside Red Hawks territory. Kafka from the shotgun, looking for Schmidt. Can he get to a diving catch? Jacob Schmidt, it'll be first and goal, Wildcats. Schmidt's the tailback. Kafka's gonna keep it himself, and he's in. Touchdown, Wildcats. Mike Kafka, one yard quarterback sneak, and the Wildcats lead 16 to nothing. Second and 10. Dicer feels the rush coming, holding, and that ball is knocked out, and Dicer able to recover. There's still enough time for the Red Hawks, down by three scores. Fake the reverse, going up over the top, looking for Dustin Woods. And McManus is there. Does he pick it off? Yes. Oh, what, what a, a play. What a great play. You'll not see one better than that. He made a great one last week and another great one this week. I thought they were going to come down with the post route for, for a completion. Pick it on the ground. Nothing there for Merriweather. As Northwestern has not been able to completely put them away. Demos a good punt this time. Sack. But he got he got on that bullet, brought him on down. He did. And Kafka will not get the first down here, but that should be the final play of the game. Yep. Northwestern next week at Michigan State, then home against Indiana for homecoming. Look forward to tracking the coach throughout. The rest of the season, our final score from Evanston, Illinois. Northwestern defeats Miami 16 to six. For Coach Glenn Mason and Anthony Heron, I'm Ari Wolf saying so long. And coming up next, we are gonna send you to Dave and the gang in our Chicago studios. They're gonna get you up to date on everything great in the Big Ten Conference today. Thank you for joining us. This has been a presentation of the Big Ten Network.